What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 Anime. In today's video, 5 facts about Midnight from the series My Hero Academia. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So, did you know that Midnight was actually intended to be Class 1A's homeroom teacher? That is absolutely crazy. You don't want to miss out. So, Midnight's real name is Namori Kayama, and she is of course known as the 18 plus hero Midnight. Her birthday is on March 9th, and she is currently 31 years old. She stands at 175 centimeters tall, which makes her about 5 foot 9, and has black hair and blue eyes. Of course, as we know, she is a pro hero and a faculty member at UA High. So, like I previously mentioned in the last fact, she was a faculty member and teacher at UA High School. She taught modern hero art history, and did you know that she was originally intended to be Class 1A's homeroom teacher instead of Aizawa? I think that is absolutely crazy. How different do you think that would have turned out? Let me know in the comment section below. Unlike Aizawa, Midnight loves youth and excitement, and her personality is very playful and very very flirtatious. Though she does have another side to her, a very serious and angry side that we do not want to get on. This side of her personality is generally triggered whenever someone interrupts her or when they mention her age, so apologies in the first fact, I'm currently hiding. <laughs> but like I said, let me know in the comment section below, how do you think Class 1A would have turned out under her? I know Mineta would have been a, a very big fan. His vote definitely would have been for Midnight. Next up, let's talk about Midnight's quirk, and I'm going to horribly, horribly butcher this, so uh, feel free to leave me some hate in the comment section below, but her quirk name is Somnibalist. <laughs> that was really bad. I know that was so bad. Uh, basically, her quirk allows her to put targets to sleep. She does this by releasing this aroma from her body, which just instantly puts her targets to sleep. And of course, this obviously goes hand in hand with her very flirtatious personality, but this aroma works much better on males than it does on females. In terms of her equipment, she of course carries that whip with her. This is very, very fitting for her dominatrix-like theme. I'm all for that. Wink, wink. This whip is what's known as a flogger-style whip, and she's very skilled in wielding it in combat. But in terms of her hero stats in power, she ranks a 2 out of 5, which is a D. Speed is a 3 out of 5, which is a C rank. Technique, she excels. A 5 out of 5, which is an A rank. Then intelligence and cooperativeness, both a 3 out of 5, which once again is a C rank. Midnight's Japanese voice actress is Akeno Watanabe. She also voices roles such as Mao in Tales of Rebirth, Liz Thompson from Soul Eater, Yuki Rito from To Love You, and she also voices children quite well. She voices the child version of Rin Okamura, and also, this is really, really interesting, in the Japanese sub of My Hero Academia, she is Izuku Midoriya's child voice. I know, right? I know. In terms of her English voice actress, that goes to Elizabeth Maxwell, who also voices Ymir from Attack on Titan, Bishamon from Noragami, and Albedo from Overlord. Let's talk about Midnight's hero costume. It's, you know, a very traditional dominatrix-like theme. She wears this overall white bodysuit, which obviously emphasizes her good parts, and she wears this black breastless leotard over the top of it. Combined with this, she wears these black thigh-high stockings and black knee boots. As well as this, she wears a small mask outlining her eyes, a handcuff on each wrist, and of course a utility belt around her hips. Though compared to her original design, it was rather different from the dominatrix version that we're all really happy with now. She had a cape. The mask remained, however, though she did have long gloves that went above the elbow and the handcuffs were not originally there. But thanks for watching this my video, five facts about Midnight from the series My Hero Academia. I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, let me know in the comment section, how do you think Class 1A would have turned out if she was in fact going to be the homeroom teacher instead of Aizawa? Pretty crazy. I, I, I think it... Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my view anyway. And of course, if you'd like to see more anime fact videos, anime subscription box openings, figure reviews and more, then hit the subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, share this video with a friend, or leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what you thought of Midnight overall. And as well as this, if you want to continue the conversation, why not hit me up on social media, on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at 414anime, and I've recently just launched my own Patreon account, where if you'd like to support me, then feel free, but that's patreon.com forward slash 414anime. All these links are in the description below, so make sure you check that out.
But anyway, guys, that is it from me. I will see you in the next video. Peace.